a small serving of oats and some lentils, as all Abigail Egdon will eat today, but it's by choice. For five days, she's living below the line. We're doing it to raise money for Tear Fund. Um, and this year, Tear Fund's giving all of the money raised through Live Below the Line to Invader and Sheer and Kia Nepal, which are two anti trafficking organisations based in New Zealand that work in Nepal and in Southeast Asia. Live Below the Line is an international fundraising campaign, challenging people to live in poverty for five days. Their budget, just $2.25 a day. I'm living off rice eggs, avocados and onions. I'm mostly eating porridge. <laughs> porridge is pretty cheap. So I had porridge for breakfast yesterday and porridge for lunch. Uh, oats and rice, eggs, spinach um, and flour and water to make flatbread. When I first heard it, it sounded outrageous. Like I really couldn't think of how it was, you know, I thought it would be better to just eat nothing if you were going to do it. But then um, I guess the more I, you put th thought into it and you put a lot of budgeting into it, you realise it is possible Possible, but you do, it's a lot of stress like having to be that calculated with it. You know, every time you do something you think, oh, that's a cent, like, oh, that's two cents of milk, like, oh no. It's, you know, two cents off my daily um, thing, so it kind of does really help you understand what it's like to kind of really have nothing or almost nothing. These Canterbury University students are learning the hard way about living in poverty. This trailer of wasted food, a reminder of why they're taking part. I've definitely felt frustrated and then find myself in my frustration really sympathising with people because like I can technically, I have the option to cheat but people in poverty don't. 1.2 billion people live in extreme poverty around the world. So far, New Zealand has raised more than $1 million towards the cause since 2011. These Canterbury University students hoping that this year they'll add to that. Our goal is to raise $30,000, um, but I think we're almost at $10,000 now, so we're ticking along, but we still need a little bit more to reach our goal. A physically testing and mental challenge, these girls are rallying together for support. Actually, I've been able to eat relatively well because I'm cooking with a group of people, so it's been awesome. I'm doing it with my flatmate, so it's, I think we kind of eat a bit better than someone doing it on their own because you kind of have a bit more money to throw around. <laughs> for these students, living below the line isn't for life. Their challenge ends on Friday in time for a feast. Uh, we're going to have a pancake breakfast <laughs> at the flat, so that should be good. I'm looking forward to it. But that's three days away. Until then, it's a diet of rice and oatmeal to keep them going. Emma Cropper, CTV News.